The operation of the energy system under constant attacks, risks and resources for resumption are the topics to discuss with Andreas Umland, the analyst at the Stockholm Center for Eastern European Studies. Good to hear. Thanks for having me. So, uh, for the last week, all the media in Ukraine and the whole world are talking about the total blackout, especially in the capital of Ukraine, Kyiv. And there's a risk of evacuation of more than 3 million people from Kyiv. Is Europe ready for that or not? Well, what we see here is perhaps um, a repetition of what uh, Putin already did um, a few years ago in Syria, where when he was bombing um, Syria uh, together with Assad and was then uh, generating this flow of immigrants into the European Union, thereby then pressuring the European Union and also generating support uh, for parties that were pro-Russian pro um, back then. So from the Russian point of view, that um, uh, strategy certainly makes sense. And uh, it could indeed happen that uh, Kiev will have to be uh, evacuated if it uh, cannot be any more supported with energy and heating and water. Yeah, but what what should be the European response to that? Maybe some more resources, I don't know, supplies and generators, maybe some, some urgent programs to support. Well, we've seen already a number of announcements uh, of uh, the delivery of anti-aircraft weaponry, and some of it has already arrived. Uh, I suspect there will be more such weaponry, uh, different anti-aircraft uh, weapons. And also there is now an initiative um, from the G7 um, in which uh, a number of countries have um, uh, announced that they will support Ukraine in repairing its energy system and in helping Ukraine to secure um, at least some um, energy, basic energy supply, elect electricity supply for uh, Ukraine's cities. And, and how Europe is going to support all the Ukrainians who already are in Europe? Because uh, many of the authorities have already said that if you are abroad, please stay there at least till the end of uh, March. Well, uh, that is basically already um, in process. The uh, refugees are being distributed in various countries uh, or within, let's say, Germany in various cities. Um, there is isn't by now a rather sophisticated system of help and uh, support for these refugees. But of course, uh, if there would be millions more, um, then indeed the European countries would be the resources also of the countries in terms of living space, medical supplies and so on would be stretched. Um, I think that is also the speculation by Moscow to create here a pressure on the European Union, with, which will then translate into pressure on Kiev to basically give away uh, territories and to make some sort of compromise uh, with Russia. Is there any fear uh, among the um, European countries that uh, there could be some blackouts and shutdowns in the European Union, according in terms of the crisis, the en energy crisis? Well, there's now in Germany um, an initiative of uh, the most pro-Putinist, pro-Russian um, party, the so-called Alternative for Germany, a radical right-wing party, that is trying to generate in, in panic in uh, Germany um, and that is reporting alleged blackouts in various uh, German cities. But in fact, um, there's very little of that in, in Germany, perhaps some singular cases that for a couple of hours here and there, uh, there are blackouts because now also Europe is, um, uh, is Europe's resources are stretched concerning energy, but um, there's no real um, energy danger, let's call it that way, for, um, for the European Union. Um, I think that is a problem that is mainly now very relevant, unfortunately, for Ukraine. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with uh, All About Ukraine. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Latest news, trends and analytics on All About Ukraine. Like, share and subscribe. 
Any questions, proposals, and comments, contact us via email.